moment was too big. I mean, this was a young man. Again, not a whole lot was expected when he came in last year. And, and no matter what the moment was, no matter what the situation, how big the crowd, who he was facing, it, it was like he had no pulse. He just threw the baseball over the plate, got hitters out, using that four-pitch mix. Um, it, this guy was really good all of last season. 5'10", 190. Bats left, throws right. And he's going to swing at the second pitch. He sees it's going to drop in front of Jerry and Ely. Plenty of speed in the outfield. He won't get to that one. And the Cardinals payoff pitch coming from Nikhazy. That one's high. And the first two Cardinals have reached here in the top of the first inning at Swayze Field. A sophomore lefty. Swung on and missed. 86 strikeouts a season ago. Nikhazy gets his first K. Just misses inside. That'll load up the bases. Threw on Nikhazy. Bounce back. The 0-2. Swung on high in the zone to Casey. Big emotion coming off the field as he leaves the bases loaded. The first round pick. This is one of the elite arms in the country. You're going you're to see a fastball in the mid-90s. You're, you're going to see a, a big-time breaking ball. Occasionally going to see the changeup. Um, there's some real expectations when that's what's labeled. And Ole Miss has been waiting to face Reed Detmers. Anthony Servideo, the leadoff hitter. He's aboard with a leadoff double. Neely, the freshman All-American running back from the Rebel football team. Detmers leaves that one outside. Goes down, that shadow works its way towards the outfield. Off speed right over the plate. Two outs, the 2-2. Swung on and missed. He let the first two Rebels reach and then struck out the side. Re game short of the championship series. Detmers picks up another strikeout as the American Detmers. The wind up and the fastball. And that's the fifth straight strikeout for number 42 in black. From the wind up again, the 2 2 swung on and missed by Dunhurst. And Detmers has set down six straight Rebels via the strikeout. Another strikeout for Doug Nikhazy. He'll sit down the freshman All American. Right over the plate again to Tyler Keenan. Called strike three, the eighth of the outing for Reed Detmers, and he's. And then how about the fastball, Keith Kessinger? After three curveball. Another one of those elevated fastballs, Keith Nikhazy gets his fourth strikeout. Yeah. Van Cleve, a line drive to right field. He's heading from first to second. This is going to be the second hit of the ball game. Both of them, extra base hits. How the two football players were going to get used on Mike Bianco's team. Well, how about the freshman All-American quarterback, John Rice Plumley is going to take over at second base as a pinch runner. ACC Pitcher of the Year. Detmers wins this battle as he blows by Ely. Another strikeout for 42. That puts two away in the inning. He's going to rope this one over the second baseman's head. Plumley comes home to score, and Ole Miss has a 1 0 lead. So, video takes off. Chatney lifts it into left field. Coming in to make the grab is Britton for the third and final out. Casey. The wind up. This one's going to be sent out into left field by Brown. He's got a multi hit day here on opening day. Janye unable to get to that ball. It'll be back to back hits for the Cardinals here. 1 2 offering from Doug Nikhazy. Roped out towards center field. Ely's not going to get to it. One Cardinal's going to score around third. Coming home was Oriente. And the Cardinals have a 2-1 lead. Big fist bump out there. Louisville putting on a hitting clinic here in the half inning. Down by one entering it. They are just hitting back to back to back. Right-hander Taylor Broadway, the senior from Cypress, Texas. He'll come into the game for Doug Nikhazy. That's the third time Masterman has gone down on strikes. Broadway, a good start to his night. Broadway, a chance to leave that inherited runner out there. Fly ball to right field. 
Elko trying to track it down, won't get there. That's going to drop and hop over the fence for a ground rule double, and it'll put a fourth run up on the board. Runner's going to go from second. Dunher showing off the arm. That was a no-doubter. Oxford Louisville with a fresh 4-1 lead over Ole Miss here in the first game of the 2020 season. Reed Detmer's day is done. Adam Elliott, the senior reliever, comes in. and he Paying really when he was just starting to come on. Nice backhand play by Levy. The throw to first is not in time. Wow, that ball being with the Chargers. And he's going to have a base knock past Sir Video. It's short in front of the home crowd. Dillard, Gray, Kessinger, Houston, Roth. Of course, Drew Bianco at LSU. Ben's trying to get to third from first, and he's going to be gunned out. Broadway finds the outside corner. That's a big pitch from the senior. Talk about Plumlee. That speed really carries over. Big cut there for a strikeout for Elliott. For those Cardinals with an RBI double in the sixth inning. He's seeing the ball really well right now as he turns on that one and puts it out in left field. Two to the freshman rushing. Broadway kicks, fires. It's a chopper to the right side. Chatagnier with his first real action in the field. Two facing Anthony Servideo. He kicks and fires. Swung on and missed the second strikeout of the game for Elliott. Chatagnier able to turn on one and find the 5-6 hole. Yeah. Well, we may never know, because that was not one he was going to swing at right there, Seth. Michael Kirian's a guy who just keeps on getting better for the Louisville Cardinals. Back in 2018, he threw 11 and a third innings. Gave up 16 earned runs, an ERA north of 12. Last year, he had the best ERA on the team, 1.69. And see what Kale Baker can do. A big swing and a miss. Kirian sits him down on strikes. Trying to flail this one out into center field and does. Chatagnier being waved home. And Ole Miss gets another run up on the board. Four to two is the score. Elko's trying to send it right back up the middle. Good job by Levy. He was in position, gloved it, stepped on the back at second. Quite the Valentine's Day gift. Levy's able to squeak that one inside the back. He's churning for second and he'll get there easily. There's a big cut from Bianco, and it's another strikeout for Broadway. 0-2 offering on the way from Broadway. Grounded to the right side. Off of Baker's club. It's going to get out into the outfield, and Levy's going to come around to score. That's a fifth run up on the board for a Cardinals. At some point, these games are going to really matter. Broadway able to strike out. Usher here. It's victory. Right back up the middle goes Benellis. That's... His first hit of the ball game, and it comes at a very important time for Louisville. One run comes in, a second one comes home on the bobble ball in the outfield. And Louisville extends their lead. Logan Savelle, the redshirt freshman from right down the road in Madison, Mississippi. 6'4", 190. This is his first appearance as a collegiate pitcher. What do you got? Leonard's going to sky this one to left field. Bench on the run. He's going to get down and make the grab. The it factor changes the room when he walks in, makes the team better. As does Carrion when he's on the bump. Dunhurst launches this one into the air in right field. Usher getting underneath it, and it's a few feet away from that wall on the warning track. Kirian right over the plate for a strikeout, the final out of the night. 14 strikeouts for this Louisville pitching staff. They'll come away with a victory on opening day, a 7-2 win over the Ole Miss Rebels.